A face-off violation right from the get-go. And it will be Yale ball. That's one face-off violation on Duke. Ty, the junior out of Long Island. Part of that first midfield. And Jack Ty beats Fowler upstairs. Yale on the board first. JT Giles Harris on Ben Reeves. Ty gets the short stick midfield defender and shows great speed. He's a high volume shooter. Over 100 shots this season and beats his man with a speed move. Shot upstairs and a score. Two for Jack Ty. They need production from their first midfield and Ty has been phenomenal as a junior we saw it on the first goal and look at the placement the hip rotation crushing princeton did it our colleague ryan boyle was a freshman saved by jack star told us yesterday duke has good defensive numbers but against elite offensive teams and elite offensive players they've struggled gardet good look three nothing yale can run hip to hip with you but off ball sometimes they're a nightmare you see the the halfway move by jack harrington 21 in blue and just gives gaudet too much real estate that's not the guy that duke wants shooting from 10 yards in the same strength reeves again and a save by fowler danny fowler needed that matchup. i don't like any of duke's matchups from the attack I think it's got to be a midfield driven offense. Bake has been one of the best defenders in the country, even though he's a freshman. There's a shot to score. Duke on the board. Kevin Quigley. The Kotler just overplays Quigley. Good burst. Deals with the double team. In Super Mo, high release to a low location. Star was all over that. Went five hole. Looks like it actually brushed against his shorts. Against Peter Welch. Now Reeves, that's a sweet spot. Saved by Fowler. On his knees, he covers it up. After a slow start, Danny Fowler has made a couple of big saves. Rooney 46, Gaudet 44. Now Reeves. Save from Macedon, New York. Now you call his number, Quint, and there is Rooney. That is his ninth extra man goal of the season. Pinpoint passing. One cradle and a pass. In the stick, boom. On the money, cradle and a pass. Boom to Rooney, who deals with the pressure. He's able to free up his hands. Lefty snipe. Now Lowry on the invert. Good and saved by Star. That's a serious save by Star, the righty. Just yet. He left his game in warm-ups. Dana Jealous. That one kicks back. Fowler pulled that one right off the goal line. Officials were in a great spot to see it. Up ahead to go nice. to Here comes Manown. Inside and score. And a flag at the end of the play as well. All because watch Fowler on the rebound now. That ball's going to go in. Wow. Pulls it out of the net. And then Manown torches his man. And Hines, 47 in white, comes up gimpy. going to be so physical. Both these teams foul. Brad Smith. And Duke has closed to within one. And Brad Smith is a zone buster. From about 15, straight over the top. The change of level, use the big muscles of the legs, torque, and look at that accuracy. The plant is so aggressive on that shot by Smith as Duke. Now picked up by a short stick. He'll try to isolate Lindsay. There's the help. Reeves to tie! Oh, Jack talk tie! That's three goals for the junior of an elite point guard. So right here, he's got the short stick on him. So Duke is so concerned with the slide and Tide knows 
that his man is going to slough down a Jason to help out Reeves, that's going to give him the freedom to have some giddy up. You see the importance of the picking. Hit somebody's foot. Fowler snags it out of the air. Quick outlet to Welch. Let's see if Duke has something unsettled. Here comes Welch. Welch to the wing. Robertson top shelf. 47th goal of the season for the freshman from Charlottesville. Alessi's bouncer. An easy stop and great rebound control. Fowler comes out firing to Welsh. Great handle by the pole. Duke strikes and on the individual, improving the individual skills. And two guys that improved by going head to head against each other, Ben Raves and Chris Fake. Here's Sessa. Sessa squeezes inside. And it's 6-4 Yale. Defense. Look at his change of direction and his ability to get underneath these defenders and then pay the price. You talk about courage. Watch what he deals with here after he releases this ball. I'm taking this ball to the heart of the defense. I'm against the JT Giles Harris. Reeves with the bouncer, and he's on the board with his first goal. So accustomed from attacking from behind. Well. Take the defender, J.T. Giles Harris, out of his comfort zone. He's used to defending attackmen behind the cage and then with Reeves around goal line extended with that lightning speed. So now Reeves takes him up. The field, many times, the thing that suffers is sleep. Peter Conley's shot saved by Starr, his fifth by Alessi. Back to Reeves, or dodge again from up top. Reeves, Tebley, shot the score! Ben Reeves scored, and now he's the catalyst. Has come up with a great wrinkle. You'll see the pick and slip right here. Tevlin slips to space, and he is king of the wing with a rip. Gotta love Ben Reeves and the patience. The superstars always allow the game to come. Moral from the wing, back to Ty, who's got three goals. Now Kotler, a couple of assists in the first half for Kotler. Great feed by Reeves, the vision, and he finds going down on the crease. Perimeter, and that's all Gaudet wants, because he is automatic. And Reeves has the confidence in the sophomore from Dix. Loose is water. 20 seconds ahead of everybody else. Here's Smith, off the faceoff. Gutterding trying to get free, and Justin Gutterding, the answer for Duke. Face off, Smith to space. Yale wings are taking an offensive approach, and great job by Gutterding there. The subtlety of that play is catch and step up field. So Keating's motion. Here comes Alessi. Slips it inside. Gaudet stays with it and scores. The hat trick for Matt Gaudet, who scored six times in the semifinals. But this time, watch how he uses his body, and Duke's defense is just too passive. There's a lot of stick there. There's no body. And the Undertaker makes him pay. You ain't kidding, Quinn. What impressed me about this goal is it looks like he's going to shoot it right away, but... Now Manown will attack Warner. Manown's got a goal today. The sophomore fires and scores. Kark, you called it. That was the matchup for Duke. They exploit it. Attacks him. His shoulders are slumped. His feet are in quicksand. He's toast. Back and forth, back and forth. That's why if I were defensive coordinator on that possession, Anish, I'm... Conley, that's a flag, an easy call, Conley scores anyway. You stop playing defense with your feet and you use your stick right here, Aiden Hines. Clearly a holding call on Conley. Justin Verlander going for Houston, ALCS rematch. Skip pass, Quigley, fires and scores. Three unanswered for Duke. 
has had more success than the first. Quigley's got a pair of goals. A gorgeous seam pass by Sean Lowry. And they were able to come back from a big early deficit against Syracuse. It's the ultimate equalizer. Cutler cashes in for Yale. Yale score unassisted goals from the midfield. They don't want to leave 44 Gaudet. They don't want to leave Reeves too. And so these midfielders have to dodge with a mindset of I'm going to beat my man and score a goal. Kotler left-handed. The Smith against a tired Warner. Inside, Gutterding! And it's 11-9. You find other ways to score. You get creative with your off-ball movement. You sense a collapse defensively in terms of the communication and the poise of the senior. He's hit the back of the net more than any player in college lacrosse for a reason. This game's opened up now. Fatigue makes cowards of us all, Anish. 30 seconds to go. Mooney's pass picked up by Alessi on a hop. Alessi all the way. Bouncer! Jason Alessi! Guys are just going back and forth and back and forth. I can't wait to the fourth quarter. Look at Alessi. I mean, you've come this far. Don't turn back now. Use the earth. He's Duke's best close He's defender. More. Trying to play it back to Gaudet. How about Matt Gaudet? That's his 10th goal of championship weekend. But watch Morrill, how strong he is on the corner. Takes his man up to the island. Turns, deals with pressure in the double team. Eyes are up while being covered. And puts a strike right on a 44 stick. Cerrone, number six in blue, was guarding Gaudet. I didn't think McDonough was beat. He's the last guy you want to see. And Duke comes away with it. It's Van Rapphorst. They'll chuck it down to Robertson. Yale milling in retreat. Here comes Robertson. Took a shot to the head and still scores. Robertson in transition. He's got all sorts of real estate. He gets clocked in the jaw. Behind the cage, Robertson. He plays it to Manown. Conley, back shot and a score, and Duke has closed to within two. 14 and Blue is being denied. He ends up going inside, and then Conley knows he's the next man in rotation. And 66 in Blue, who's been in a shooting slump. When he's hot, he's one of the best. Conley gets it back. 12 seconds. Conley inside. Loose in front. Gunning has it. Fire save by Star.